I started snowboarding up at Bear Mountain in 1990. That was actually the first time that the snowboard park was being built up there at Bear Mountain. They wanted to like put all the snowboarders in this one little area and kind of confine it. So there was no skiers allowed in there. It was just, just snowboarders over there. And that's what it was, you know, it was like the Outlaw Park. It was just a snowboard only spot. The Outlaw Park was the, the first actual like legitimate snowboard terrain park pretty much where snowboarders were empowered to create and build what they wanted to and uh, that was I think the difference it was like built by snowboarders for snowboarders. Mike Perilla worked for Bear so he was like the lead dude but he had you know buddies so we, he would give us shovels and we'd just start making things. It wasn't like this park crew building this big thing. It was funny because I just always thought I was going to get in trouble. You know, like literally we were all really proud of being like dirt, dirt bags. Micro bong hits, lots of beers and just bad decisions all, all across the board. And about like through the first season, like towards the end, I get this, uh, hey, uh, you're going to get an uh, employee review today. Can you come to my office? I don't know, here we go. I'm going to get fired for sure. And he's like, oh, you're doing such a good job. You're getting a raise. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> okay, cool. Even more reason to party. I mean, Mike Perrell is an artist, and back then, that was his artistic expression. I'd be home in my sketchbook, making drawings, building models out of snow to show the cat driver. They'd be like, what is that? <laughs> I got it, they didn't, yeah, it was really hard. I was always trying to make it like, looked like they were architectural somehow. Him and Rob Defoe were like, we're building this thing, and we're gonna make jumps, and we're gonna cut a half pipe with a chainsaw. And Bear Mountain was cool enough to just let him do it. But there was no real parks then, and I think they just looked at skate parks and just saw skate parks and were like, we're gonna do that, like, in the snow. Like, the way I, the way I built parks, and I think that's what made those the first snowboard parks, that where people said, oh, it's, it's a snowboard park because they connected, you know, you had lines. There was intentional like back to back to back. Yeah, it was pretty much the, embodied the spirit of, of I think modern day like park riding. There, were, there was definitely a lot of energy back then, like in snowboarding. I don't think we really had a concept of like, oh, it's gonna explode and be this big thing. Like, it was just super cool. Like, we were just stoked. It was just like this awesome pack mentality and the quality of rider that came out of there was insane. The stuff that Gooch was doing kind of is still standard in a lot of ways. You know, that's kind of where it, started from like explosive spins and getting upside down and I remember him really standing out and then really becoming a fixture. Brian Thien was amazing too. That guy was the most talented out of everybody. It was the beginning of something new. We didn't really realize it was just super fun. Everybody was really tight. We just had our own chair and that was it. We just ran the show. It was awesome. Oh Prilla was a man. He um, he showed me the way that's for sure. Dude had the sickest style so he pretty much knew how to build it how he wanted to hit it, you know? I mean this is this is the Outlaw right here, 2016 version. This park probably hasn't been here for a good 10 years, from what I can remember at least. This is where I learned how to snowboard, did my first jump, did my first rail, did my first contest. And yeah, it's cool that Bear Mountain like recognizes their history. I mean, they've done so much for snowboarding in the years, like being one of the first people to have a snowboard park ever. And just being able to recognize that and bring it back again and then bring all of us in and let us shoot it and ride it. And, bring some history into the future. For me personally, and I think the staff that I work with, it's pretty awesome to come in here and, and, and get to build on a run that hasn't been built on in decades. And uh, you know, when we were building this, I think the idea was, you know, if, if Perillo and the guys had the tools that we have today, what would they have done? And let's try to honor that and, and their hard work. And I would say it's, uh, it's an honor to build in here uh, along with the guys that get to ride it too.